what is going on guys welcome back to the videos hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always today we have a super big announcement that I mentioned in the last video I wanted to do a short video of a car meet that we went to and get the announcement done then but the video kind of got scrapped but today let's go ahead and get into it I'm gonna start off by doing a quick unboxing which will lead into the announcement and let's go ahead and just get right into it all right boys this box showed up today it's a white line box but it's not white line goodies but let's go ahead and get into unboxing it and I'll show you guys what it is so we've got a Perrin fuel rail fuel line setup so aftermarket Perrin fuel rails I'm not really sure which ones these are or what they're for but I basically got them for free so I figured why not I'll go ahead and snag them while I'm at it but the important part of this package is right here in this little microfiber cloth so let's open this up whatever duct tape he used was super freaking strong so there you guys go hopefully you can see that but we got some I think they're ID 1700s uh, yeah injector dynamics 1700 cc injectors I'm gonna go ahead and take these to work and clean them and everything get them ready to install but there you go four 1700 cc injectors and let's go ahead and get into the announcement and I'll tell you what these guys are going on all right so as most of you already know this right here is my baby this is what I put pretty much all my time and all my effort into over the last uh, I'd say probably about three years but as you guys probably already know or you heard in the last video uh, I'm going a different direction so this guy I'm probably going to sell either I'm going to part it out or sell it but here's the build here's what all my time has gone into all my effort all my love all my passion for Subarus this is the car that basically has got it all going so just to give you guys a quick update like I said I'm probably going to be parting this car out um, I'm going to be pulling the motor and taking all the goodies off of it and all of those goodies are going to go on a car that you guys have already seen already but not sure if you guys know what direction I'm going if you can guess where I'm going with this leave it down in the comments below and um, let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing so if you guys didn't guess it already you probably know if you watched the last video but here is the official announcement I'm going to be building the Forester. Baderbilt did a series on basically the same car, uh, same color and everything. Uh, Might have been an 04, where mine is an 05. But anyways, it really inspired me and my, fr my buddy Ben at work, who has the GR you guys might have seen in my shorts. He has a Forester as well that he's put a little bit of work into and it's just a really cool car. At first I was kind of hesitant to build it because I was worried that it would weigh a lot more and that I just wouldn't get the same power to weight ratio. But it turns out the Forester, the SG models, are actually about the same weight as the GD sedans. So that's the story boys. We're going to be building this Forester. The block that I have at work, the closed deck EJ25, is going to be going in this thing. So I'm going to be parting out. The white WRX in order to fund this build it's gonna be a crazy build I'm gonna dump so much money into this thing but if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on what I should do to the car let me know down in the comments I do plan on wrapping it but that'll probably come much later after the actual build of the car this thing is uh, super clean so I want to keep it maybe sleeper um, if you guys think I should build it just all-out crazy aggressive let me know but 
I might want to go, you know, semi sleeper with this thing, kind of keep stock ish ride height, maybe a tiny bit lower. Not crazy aggressive wheels like on that thing, but that's the plan, boys. This thing I, I would like to make probably around 700 horsepower, but we'll see where things go. I'm basically planning on getting a rotated setup, dual fuel pump hanger. Um, I'm going to throw those 1700 cc injectors in this thing. Hopefully I won't need 2000 cc injectors, but we'll see when we get there, when we get to final tuning and everything. Um, the plan is to run E85 on it, obviously, and I'm going to be doing a lot of work to it. So if you guys are interested in seeing the build on the Forester, definitely subscribe to the channel, like this video, and stay tuned because it'll be starting here pretty soon. That is my girlfriend's Forester. The motor unfortunately blew on it, so I've got another motor for it. As soon as I'm done replacing the motor on this car, I that way she has you know, a daily driver, so we're not both relying on one cars. I will be parting out my WRX. So if you guys are interested in any of the parts from that or even the shell, definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys are in the Colorado area. But that's pretty much the plan, boys. I will run over what's done to the WRX one more time just so we can have some nostalgia and kind of look back on what we've done to the car. I've got the massive GD Brembos in front and rear, Avid AV20 wheels, brand new tires and everything. The Brembos I think are definitely going to go on the Forester. The six speed STI transmission is probably going to go in the Forester as well. If I can fit the front mount, it'll probably go on the Forester as well for now until I can afford like an ETS kit or something like that. But the motor is an EJ255 with stage one forged pistons. It's got the STI crank and STI rods. Other than that, it's got 1050 CC injectors, AEM 340 fuel pump, basically ready for E85. I just never got around to tuning for it. But that's pretty much it for the motor. Nothing crazy special with that thing so far. I've also got a OEM long runner big plenum intake manifold in the garage that I plan on putting on the Forester. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I make that work, definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, we will get into that project pretty soon. As far as the interior on this thing, it's pretty clean. It's got the stock 07 seats, which I might steal these. The steering wheel I'll probably let go with the car because I don't want to go with purple for the Forester. Um, I'm not going to tell you what color I'm going to wrap the Forester just yet. You guys will have to stay tuned to see which direction I go with the wrap. But as far as the WRX, basically everything's getting parted out except for transmission, Brembo's, and the intercooler, the front mount intercooler. The radiator, which is a Mish Mishimoto dual core aluminum radiator, nothing too special. But hopefully you guys are excited as I am about the Forester build. If you are, like I said, subscribe and I'll be starting it pretty damn soon. If you guys want to see anything specific done to the Forester, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to take suggestions and kind of see like, you know, what people are interested in seeing with these Foresters. But that's pretty much the plan. I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm sorry I don't upload more, but making car content is just very expensive. Um, I'm sure you guys know, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the shorts. I will be trying to make more of those. If you guys are interested in any parts and you're in the Colorado area, definitely let me know for the WRX. But let's get into the Forester build, boys, and we'll see how fast we can make this thing. Just wanted to do that quick video, so I appreciate everybody watching. Share this with your friends so they can know that we're going to be starting the Forester build soon. And we're going to be doing more videos on my girlfriend's Forester as soon as we get that thing going. But she might be buying a WRX or STI soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, boys, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Share this with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more Subaru content. Hopefully we'll get into some more fun stuff soon. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.